Hello and welcome to another Japanese V-Cross unboxing. Today with Reversal Collector, Selector, Selector, not Collector, uh, VX24P3. And yeah, this set has some, ah, some nice air rigs like Remember and Alfu. I'm not a fan of these three uh, from Eldora, Anne, and I always forget. I think she's new. I'm not sure. I think she's new. She Chiyori. Yeah, my my favorite artworks on this set are from Alfu. I have to admit. Usually she's not my my favorite Elric, but uh, the artworks in this set are amazing. And yeah, the the remember ones are nice too. Uh, this set has released a few weeks ago, but unfortunately, like my my pre-order got cancelled. Because uh, yeah, for some reason my my credit card is not accepting uh, Amazon Japan payments anymore. I don't know why. Maybe they just don't want me to buy cards anymore. But oh, that's some some nice colors in this one. That's pretty. But yeah, so my my pre-orders got cancelled. This was really really bad. Uh, because also like the the prices on Amazon Japan with uh, shipping and tax taxes is very cheap. So yeah, I had to wait. Oh, right in the first pack, the SSR. Not sure if this is the the big hit of the box, or if we can still get like a. It's a little bit confusing now with the rarities. There is SLR. L R U A R. Yeah, not sure about the pull ratios. Uh, this has very nice texture and gold effect on it. Sweet. The the colors are yeah a little bit like washed, washed out. More like a pencil or and not really watercolor. More like pencil, past or pastel colors. But yeah, so I I had to get another credit card so I can still order stuff from Japan. Yeah, good good times, good times. But yeah, I I had two boxes pre-ordered and yeah, now I only got this one box because I'm like still trying to reduce my expenses a little bit. Uh, even there are so many great TCGs and sets at the moment. It's really, really difficult to ooh, to not buy, uh, but times are times are tough, and yeah, really have to look out for my my money. But yeah, we get a LR Alfu back to back, probably back to back the the hits of the box. If there is like not another huge one, very very pretty. Uh, this is not the L rig. This is the what was the name? Is it an arts card? Yeah, uh, from VX twenty four. They have introduced the arts card again. I'm excited how how this will play out with the with the English release. But yeah, I I will try to at least get one box from Japanese V Cross. And then maybe when there is the the English release, I will try to get one or two boxes. So our first uh, super rare. Sweet. But yeah, since I I cannot read Japanese and I cannot build deck with these cards, so I I have a lot more from the English cards anyway. Uh, okay, what is she again? Like a picture frame. Uh, sometimes they get very, very creative with these ones. What is she? Yeah, probably sometimes they play with the with the names of the characters a little bit. The play on words sometimes. Oh, that's a pretty N. And just a, a foil. It looks like a mechanic girl with some oil stands ah, but yeah i i hope v cross english is like still 
healthy and ongoing. Would be a shame if they stopped supporting the English release. I know that the the player group or like the yeah the players are very small, and sometimes it gets frustrating because there's like no no players around you or no tournaments. Yeah, I guess they they don't do enough to promote it, or it's just difficult because of this um, anime or like this kawaii cute girl style. Super rare. Another amazing artwork. I know there's one, at least one artwork from Maru Pen. Great artist who also, I think, also did some, some art for Zillions of Anime X. The second uh, big Japanese TCG that I, I open regularly. Sweet Alpha. Oh, with the uh, what was it? The red, red spider lily. Very, I think it's yeah. It's also in the in the intro from Demon Slayer, was it? I guess very famous flower. Oh, and this oh, this looks like Alice in Wonderland. There's this cat. Yeah, the the far full art rare card with this. It's foiled, but it's really like a cold foiling. Or well, like very, very much a metallic look to it. That's really cute. I don't know if they are, they are a new cards or if they are basically reprints from previous sets. I am not collecting V-Cross for such a long time. So before the Diva format, I, I haven't collected it. So they might. B reprints, I'm not sure. Another N. Eldora, also not my one of my favorite, and uh, a gothic gothic girl super rare. Not the one from Maru Pen. So the oval. But I guess we really got like the, the big hits back to back, the SSR and the, the LR. Yeah, and in the Japanese sets or in the Japanese boxes, there isn't a, a foil card guaranteed. But yeah, box prices are cheaper, of course, than the, the English ones. Alpha. Demon Girl. Oh, another Super Rare. Also not from Maru Pen, but the Super Rares are nice. I still dislike the... The way they are doing the the shatter foiling, uh, and some other TCGs that use shatter foiling, they they are just using it for the background, so the character is not like shattered from the foiling. I really dislike this. So, so it would be only in the background. Such a shame because the the artworks of this uh, super rares are amazing. Just uh, the foiling that's not working for me. And that's another pretty, like a, a painter. Cool. Eldora, <laughs> Alpha, and just the foil. Yeah, and they have already announced the next set for, I think, January. The next Japanese set. With again some amazing previews. I think they have more, I think it looked like they have more Elrics again in the next set. Maybe I haven't looked enough into it. That's a, it's a bummer. Like, it is dark, but I feel like on, on camera or like on YouTube, it will look like uh, worse than in real life. Of course, the colors are not really popping, like not... So vivid. Yeah, I mean, this artwork would probably look a lot better in a in a parallel foil or regular foil. This this cold foiling or metallic look takes away from the the coloring. So sad. Oh, Alfu. Uh, I guess another arts. Yeah, I think another arts. Yeah, the one with the 
red spider lily. I guess the the YouTuber Red Zone Rogue will go very big in this set because uh, Alfu is one of his favorite Elrics and yeah, I guess he he has to pull a nice uh, what's like the the highest rarity should be the the UR. Oh, the UR Alfu is so pretty. Also, the most expensive card from the set. It's uh, yeah around seventy thousand yen. Uh, which translate to around what was it four hundred or close to five hundred dollars not so good uh, about the the prices I think eighteen thousand uh, it should be around four hundred around four hundred euro or dollar I don't know very pretty one. Oh, we end up with another Alfu and the full art rare metallic look. So, yeah, thank you for watching. For more unboxings, please check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. And see you in my next unboxing. Bye.